817 is your time and let the good times roll. We are celebrating Mardi Gras a week early and man, are y'all in for a real treat. Well, you can't talk about New Orleans without talking about its food and Donald Williams is the owner of Dewan's New Orleans and Bistro along with Amber Coffee. They join us here in our studios and thank you for bringing these delicious dishes and so filling good. our studio with these amazing smells. So you're from New Orleans, so this is legit stuff, Donald. Yes, I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, yes. All right, so tell us, what makes New Orleans food as good as it is, you think? The seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. The seasoning makes New Orleans food good. We don't hold back with the seasoning. We have our, you know, organic, unique cook, and it's like Creole. And we have our, you know, different seasons that we use. Okay, well, I think Rick and I are going to try to taste every single thing that's <laughs> on this table. What are we looking at here? What should here? we start with? The gumbo first. Okay. Start with the gumbo. That's so can you season. explain everything that's on the table, too? Okay, yes. So right here is the gumbo. It's authentic gumbo. It's okay. not. It's cooked in. We have all the meats, the seasoning. Okay. We have crab meat. Do I meat. use rice first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes. Uh, get a little get rice. rice a little rice bit with that right here. Okay. Sorry, keep going. And we have blue crabs in there. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yes, we have smoked sausage. We have Perfect. drumettes, chicken. Uh, we have crab meat in it as well. Mm. And we have the Holy Trinity. And the that's the key to The Holy okay. Trinity. Yes, and it's fresh, not frozen. Okay. Yeah. When you say the Holy fresh. Trinity, we're not talking church here. We're talking... <laughs> We're talking onions, bell peppers, and celery. Bell peppers mm. and celery. Yes, you have Rick, to you have to chop it fresh. Okay, here we go. And then we got some pasta. Yes, this is the Mardi Gras pasta. Um, this dish here comes with three proteins. It comes with crawfish, crab, and shrimp. Mm. This pasta that looks is so amazing. Good. How yes. is it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Yes. Mm. Okay, and then that's some beautiful I just had fried some of chicken. The, um, some of the the sa the andouille sausage. Is yes, that what it, oh, it's wow. the and D sausage. It's a, this a common sausage that we utilize in um, New Orleans with a lot of our dishes. Okay, and then some beautifully fried so, chicken. And we also have some um, crab cake egg rolls mm. with some marmalade sauce on top. You, you have to that? try one of those. All right, I would love to. So how'd you get started? Uh, yes, well we started. Um, I'm an accountant, so and I always talk to my clients about opening up different you know streams of income. So I wanted to open up more of a fast grab and go type business. Mm -hmm. And I actually, you know, found this location and I wanted to just do more fried chicken and fish. So what happened was I did a soft opening for my family and friends and I cooked the gumbo. And that changed the dynamics of my establishment. Mm. And that's when I started to, you know, go. My friends was like, no, we want some more gumbo. I left the event last night. Do you have some left over? And then wow. that's why I was like, okay, hey, I got 10 text messages for the gumbo. So I have to add it to the menu. And then that's when I opened it up to more. You were just an accountant <laughs> who said, wait a minute, I can't cook, cook. So in your involvement in this, you are um, part owner as well. No, I no, am actually she's the head lead at my restaurant. So head she's lead the, of the restaurant. Yes, yes. yes. So she helps a lot, and she's you know of the hospitality. She goes. She's very go getter. She's very supportive, as you can see. She's here with me this morning. So she's my right hand. I give the great son the hospitality. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's okay. Great. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and that's very important. I mean, if you yes. go to New Orleans, it's sort of known for their hospitality mm -hmm. there. So. You bring that here to Atlanta, of yes, course. It's best of a Mardi Gras coming, the hospitality and the party and the celebration, and these are the things that you get to eat. Y'all have to try those beignets, too. I would love okay. to, and I was actually waiting till the end because these get so messy. I already know you're trying to set me up. <laughs> That's what's happening here, people. And, beignets, you have on, and you have on all black, so yes. All right. <laughs> so you're about I, to see exactly what I mean. So you go to New Orleans, and one of the places you got to stop is Cafe Du Monde, right? Yes. Uh, in the French Quarter, and they're known for their beignets and their coffee. What makes yours just as good or better than theirs? Uh, it's a signature that we have under before, oh after God. we cook them, it's a signature um, flavor that we add to it. And it's not just a plain, so we have that. And it gives you that kick in it when you eat it. This mm. is so <laughs> wonderfully made, y'all. Oh my gosh, this it's is soft. Amazing. Yes. Ooh, oh, perfect. Dewan, Dewan's, y'all gotta go check them out. Thank, thank you so you much for being yes. here. Thank you. Thank you for having thank us. You for thank, having you. Thank, thank you. Great stuff. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Thank you.